hi everyone welcome back to UiPath tutorials in the last video we have discussed how we can open an application in a chrome once we open an application which is acne application how we can enter an email id and the password and then click on the login button so that thing we have achieved in automation anywhere and in UiPath studio both in today's session we will going to know something interesting and which is makes mostly used activity we can say so once you log in into the application you land it on this page which is dashboard now whenever a page get changed we have to be sure that okay that page is visible actually that page is visible on the screen and the bot should start processing on that particular page so let's assume after login the dashboard need to come but something else is coming any pop-up is coming or it is navigating to the different page in that case the bot will going to be failed so there is a check we have to put there that if this particular window is exist then the bot should go ahead and do the rest of the step on that particular window now to implement this what we have to do in automation anywhere so there is a condition there is one action which is if expand this drag drop this if here okay now when you click on this part which is highlighting in a red you will see a lot of stuff here now when you go down you will see a window a window section where it is saying okay window is exists window does not exist window with same title does not exist okay now we will going to utilize this one window exists whether that particular window is there or not okay now you see how long you would like to wait for the condition to be true so far it's, it's always be a zero here it always be a zero here so I'll make it uh, 30 second it will wait for 30 second till that window appears once that window appears the bot will go ahead and do the rest of the steps now I have selected this window exist use this application option where it will we have to choose the particular window now it, it will ask you to choose an application window before clicking on this part just refresh it so when you refresh it whichever window is open here it will show here in the active in the available windows or active window so basically in the available windows these are the two window which is open right now you see this is my ACME dashboard window and this is basically my login now I'm going to click on this ACME dashboard dashboard this one So again let's check the condition select I have selected this option which is window exist here and I clicked on the application and refresh and choose the window okay and here I have given a 30 second of the time the bot is going to wait for 30 seconds that window doesn't appear now I will put the else part so when you open this if there is one s else if and there is one else action so i'm going to use the else if this if condition is true it will go inside if it is false it will go here in the else to check whether this particular uh, condition is true or a false what i will do i will put one message box inside this if condition and another message box in the else condition and here for now i will write window found and here I will write window not found I hope this is clear now when the bot click on login button and when it enters email ID password and then click on the login button the dashboard window will appear and it the bot will check on the fifth step this step whether that window is there or not if it is there it will come and show us a message box that windows found otherwise it will show a window not found 
now what I will do I will log out this application so log out from here I'm closing this window and running bot again as usual it will open the acne site enters the email id and the password once it's logged in it will navigate to the dashboard actually. you can wait for some time it is started if you see to the right side the corner right side the bot is running and it's 25 percent it is completed now it is login you see it is taking some time to move to the dashboard so the bot is always wait for 30 seconds and if the time won't reach then it will going to come to the else condition saying that okay the window does not appear right now this window is found okay and the bot runs successfully now to test this what if the window is not there what I'll do I will change the email address so right now whatever the email address I have here so to change the email address again I am coming to the variable section then edit this variable so it is UI part tutorials I will make it uh, anything I am adding one number here so, when bot tries to log in into the application through the email ID which is not there so it will fail to log in in that case now what will happen if that particular window anyways when it is failed to log in it will not going to move to the dashboard then it will come to the else condition and print window not found let's see this run let's run the bot and see the result Is entering a email ID which is not exist enters the password click on the login button now anyways it failed so it will wait for 30 seconds till that window appears you can wait for 30 seconds if you see this action if is executing here whichever action is executing you can clearly see from here so this is a good thing here in the automation anywhere now it is saying window not found right because the dashboard window is not here so it is giving a correct message okay I'll edit this and I will revert back to UI part tutorials so far this is uh, this is understood that how we can use a window exist and in which situations we have to use it so whenever a new window changes always try to use this window exist which is very important because from here you can clearly check or maintain a proper locks that if something is wrong if app or the application is down of a new pop face coming or it is moving to the different you know uh, different path in that case you can easily know from your logs that okay that window is not there that's why our, our bot is filled now we will going to implement the same use case in UiPath studio now what are the activities we have there for for these type of scenarios now let's move to the UiPath studio in studio we have a dip means a activity similar activity just like a window exists but with a different name so here we have element exist now what we have to do we have to drag drag this element exists anyways if you are new to this channel and watching this video first time just go and watch the previous video because I have explained this stuff there now here I am using the element exist to find out that particular element is there or not now what I'll do 
either I, I can select the whole window or I can select the particular elements what I'll do I'm going to select this one the dashboard so when you go to the properties of this by expanding this target you will see a select is created automatically and it is validating when I click on the highlight button it is showing okay this is the particular element is present so this is also one of the good thing in UiPath studio that if any element I want to check from here whether it is validating or not and I can easily check it you see I can easily check it but when I go here into the automation anywhere if I want to check the particular element is there or not let's assume this is the button here and I want to check or highlight whether this element this particular object in the properties I've selected is valid or not so this is something is missing here but here we can easily check it now in the output we can check we can we have to create basically one variable let me name it is exist now what it will give us this element exist will going to give us a, a boolean value which is true and false if that particular dashboard is present it will give us a true if it is not present it will give us false then anyways i have to compare it i have to validate it so what i'll do i will use if condition here and is this condition what i will do i will write down is exist equals to true means if this exists means this boolean variable is true if you go to the variable you see this is exist is a boolean type it is having a boolean type so if is exist equals to true that means the window is there so here what i'll do i'll put a message box in a similar way that i have done in a automation anywhere i'll put two message boxes i'll write down in the double quotes here window found and here i will write down window not found now we have to give a value in a double quotes here always in ui pass studio to remember it but in automation anywhere if you see here we don't need to give or specify a value inside double quotes if you go to the property so you see the description here that the default value is is 30,000 millisecond which is equals to 30 second so by default it have a timeout 30 second but here the default timeout in this case in this case if you come down here is default is 0 because I make it 30 if you remember I change it to 30 so this is also a difference here but here it always have a 30 second delay time now what I will do here I will log out from here and then I'm going to log in into the application let me close this for now now it is running from the studio enter email id password and login now if this particular window appear instantly the bot will going to show a message box saying window found similar way if this it is not there if it is not found then in that case it will go to the else condition it will go to the else condition here this condition is true right now if this is false the window is not there then it will come to the else condition show window not found so this is a similar stuff the way we are using it is different in the studio and in automation anywhere but yes again there are some advantage and disadvantage in both the cases now here you see the default value they are providing 30 seconds which is good i believe but there they are giving a zero so we have to enter it anyways because anyway we should have some default value there also because the window doesn't cannot be appear instantly it will take some time it has some loading time there okay and when i run the bot here you see it is not showing the percentage that how much percentage how much percent is completed the task completed but there in automation anywhere you see uh, there shows very nicely that okay it is completed 25 percent 30 percent then 50 then 100 and it also shows okay this is on the particular action right now okay now but here we can see everything in the output panels right now we can see only it is started and ended that's it now 
there are a lot of stuff we will discuss is uh, that comes in that comes to the to the logging part actually we'll we'll discuss it later on okay hope this is clear and we will move to the next part we'll have something in the next video for now thanks for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe my channel have a great day